Pretty, pretty face, perfect body, pink seats in a Rari. Always fuck them like I'm sorry. Guys, if you want to see how to get your hair from this to this, then make sure you guys keep watching. So first off, I'm going to use my VO5 Clarifying Shampoo and I'm going to take a shower. And I washed it in there. As you can see, my closure is all out of place and it looks a mess. No worries. I'm going to take my Tresemme Thermal Heat Protectant Spray and spread it all around my scalp before I get to blow drying it. Next, I'm going to take my Motion Setting Foam and put that on my real hair. It helps my curls kind of set in place and not um, revert as much and then I'm going to take some Jamaican black castor oil and put them over at that as well so now I'm just separating my real hair from my closure so I can have a defined part and then I'm going to well after I fix my part how I like it I'm going to get my motion setting um, foam and put it over that so that it will stay now, I didn't mention earlier, but the shampoo conditioner I used, the VO5, I literally get it for like 78 cents from Walmart. And that is like the best shampoo and conditioner that gets my weaves um, clean. I don't really care for it on my real hair because I am natural and it's a clearing fine shampoo. So it's very um, stripping. However, if you have like a greasy weave and you want to get you know all the gunk and stuff out of it VL5 is definitely the best and it's um, inexpensive so right now I'm just using my Denman brush and my hair dryer and I'm just blow drying my hair and this takes a good like 15-20 minutes make sure you get in between your braids where your real hair is too and I'm going to finish blow drying it off camera and come back to you when it's done alright so now my hair is all dry and right now I'm going to take some argan oil and that one's from organics I think and I'm going to put that all through my hair just to um, add some moisture back to it make sure I focus on my ends and then I want to brush it through with my Denman brush as you can see it shakes it's not weighed down by that oil Next, I'm going to take some more Jamaican black castor oil and put it on my edges. As you guys know, or I've stated in previous videos, I am 100% natural now. That's the only thing that's left out is my edges. And I was just because of, I just had a, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of closures. And for a while, when I first got this sew in, I was wearing it flipped over. So I pulled some of my edges out. So that's the only reason why though they're out right there. And I'm just taking my flat iron. It's like on literally like 320, like the lowest setting. And I am just going over it. Next, I'm just going to comb that in with my hair. And then briefly, I'm going to start flat ironing my um, extensions. And I do like one or two passes just because I'm not really trying to get it bone straight. I was just gonna, trying to get it um, straighter than what it was because I'm probably going to end up putting flex rods in it and curling it anyway. But if you are, um, if you want it to wear your hair bone straight, or if I wanted to wear my hair straight that day, this is how I would do it. I would really just get as much of the wave of from the natural hair texture out. And then I would probably just flip my bangs. So I'm just briefly going through it. Like, it's nothing too serious. But as you can see, it has lots of body and life. I'm going to curl that one side. And then my camera died. But I curled my bang off camera. And as you can see in the slow-mo, the hair has lots of body. So thank you guys for watching, and until next time, bye guys.